Do you miss the smell of grass? The touch of sun or moon? Do you know why we were banished? Do you feel the burn of hatred? What can we, O oh Great Father, offer in return for our salvation? Blood, my child, bring me the blood of thy fallen adversary. It will be done, O oh you, Lord of the everywhere, sire of a thousandfold children of evanescent chaos. Your will be done, your kingdom shall be, the light shall fade. We are yours. Domino Constitution Fragment RD 16. 02262996. Command. Relay archived message file 010.012.011. Verification third son. Error. File corrupted. Command. Relay intact date whole. Error. Date compromised. Command. Override security protocol all. Confirmed. Message play. Error. File corrupted. Command. Scan, slice, synergize, relay intact date sets. Confirmed. Scanning, slicing, synergizing. Confirmed. Relaying intact date. Command. Message play. Confirmed. Message playing. Salutation, Outlander. If you're reading this, you've no doubt seen the decrepit wreck our world has been reduced to, and you're also alive, so you've already some elements of grit and skill about you. You will need both if you are to fulfill the role for which you've been summoned. I won't insult your intelligence by availing you with windy speeches about grand quests, epic adventures, and heroic deeds, though I'm sure you'll have your fill of all, if you survive. Instead, I will merely put this to you bluntly. We need your help and are prepared to reward your efforts handsomely. I'll not assume your continued attention as indicative of your ascent to the role of Domoroi, meaning savior in our ancient most tongue. If for no other reason, then you'd have to be a fool of the highest order to take on such an open-ended job at the word of a faceless beast on the vague promise of some nebulous reward at an unspecified point in the future. But that I've at least held your ear I take as a very good omen, which should further cement in your mind what sort of dire straits we're in. Unintelligible. Suppose you've many questions, not least of which being why. Unintelligible. Telnikos. Unintelligible. Necromores. Unintelligible. They knew our every move, every strategy, every tactic, our every thought. Unintelligible. Whole legions mobilized. Unintelligible. Utter carnage. Unintelligible. They were unstoppable. Unintelligible. Overran. Unintelligible. Tearing into our forces like howling demons. And there were these two. They rampaged through the now defenseless wildlands like a plague, at first killing pillaging and kidnapping almost indiscriminately, though we later discovered, much to our dismay and horror, that there was a method concealed in this madness too. Those they dragged off often return as twisted biomechanical fiends of stitched metal and cobbled flesh. These are what we, that is, arcanists, came to call retrograves. Command. Message end. Confirmed. Message ended. Command. Terminate date. Confirmed. Terminating date. Date set terminated. Nominal Constitution Fragment RD 17. 032626. Command. Relay archived message file 010.012.012. Verification third son. Confirmed. Relaying date. Command. Message play. Confirmed. Message playing. Our world is besieged. Our very existence. The very existence of life itself on this planet is threatened. Originally sliced from the violated belly of the original mother creation by the false god, Sayadal, and his devilish cronies back in the before times, over twenty million times our world has circled its dipolar parental spheres since their original sin, and over two thousand winters have turned into spring, and that many summers have decayed into autumn since the great sinner was cast down a final time by his own dark apprentice. Since then, the world has enjoyed an age of prosperity and splendor not known and seldom dreamt about in all the eons of life's cyclical journey amidst the stars. But now, a greater predator stalks us, hunts us, feeds on the shadows that fester in the false god's lingering maker's brands. Despite the sorcerer's supreme efforts to burn out the clinging vestiges of the hated one's vile influence, 
No light can exist without an equivalent shadow. However they may try, and however mightily each and every one of us fights the very admittance of the fact, every beast harbors in them a shard of the great monster's Nile essence. Perhaps that was what drew the Dark Father here in the first place. Or maybe it was the Halo Aurora, that dome of supernal light generated by the fiery bloom of a billion billion auras after the Magrathian was destroyed, a greater darkness summoned from the void itself to balance the new light. But I'm getting far ahead of myself. Forgive me. Now, where to start off? Well, let's start with the very basics, shall we? Some have presumptively called this the entire universe. This is laughable. This ancient map is the only physical record of our solar system known to have survived into the third millennium of the current era. Not shown and deliberately omitted from all current charts for security reasons is the network of Calamarian Alliance satellite tactical low-entry Castle Stations, Magrathian Star Harbor Station, and Pilot Knight Citadels. Essentially exactly what the names and acronyms imply, Flying city-sized fortresses that look like something analogous to a boxy steel crustacean with a classic Fourth Era castle strapped to its back. When the planet first raptured, circa 20 million years before this writing, the material substance of its core and mantle was instantly and violently transmuted into elements of etheric matter, aurons and abraxins. These are the raw substances of magic, and they form both the literal and figurative bedrock of our modern world. Long, excessively convoluted, story short, the planet even is divided into three distinctly layered tiers. Well, actually, we can count as high as fifteen if we're being technical, but as we're being basic right now, we'll stick to the bare essentials. Which, from the outside in, are the crust, the harvest lands, and the core. In our modern era, the crust is divided into fourteen major continents, with thousands of smaller islands scattered between and amongst them, all having been successively shattered and violently reconjoined over the eons by a series of seven mass extinction events known most popularly as the Divides. These titanic upheavals utterly reshaped the world, and so only naturally serve as bookends for the historical eras of which we are presently in the seventh. To this day, no beast truly knows what causes them, or if they do, they keep it a well-guarded secret. A continent is defined, naturally, as a region of land whose holder maintains sovereign control over a portion of the abyss stretching at least five leagues from shore, which is how we arrive at the Nine Depths. Quite where the numerical disparity comes from is an onerous historical quagmire to be explored at a later time. Each continent is then further subdivided into regions, sometimes called states or provinces depending on who and when you ask, overseen by their own local governor, lord, baron, etc most of whose borders have been determined by where affiliated armies have managed to hold out while dying the least. Perhaps it is wisest not to consult a scholar on political or military matters. In any event, every region or state then has its subordinate territories. These tertiary bodies usually consist of one or more smaller islands, most of which will play host to an appointed chief, mayor, constable, etc. Over the past few centuries, it has increasingly become the common role of the pirates to mitigate minor disputes, enforce certain laws, and uphold unstable treaties upon contracted request. As one may expect, this growing reliance on paramilitary and mercenary force of arms has quietly led to the degradation and erosion of most regional and even some continental militaries. Although nowadays, the only armed forces who remain worthwhile competition for the world's growing number of extra-legal gangs and cartels are the Imperial Armada of Iradal and the Royal Fleet of Iralith. The Harvest Lands are abyssal pockets that reside beneath nearly every continental landmass. They are the font not only of the Crystal Magnolsis, which is used to power everything from our homes to our ships to our Magrathian megastructures, but also contribute to the repulsive fields that keep the planetary crust from forcibly reuniting with the core, of which scarce little of empirical fact is known, even in our modern day. It is believed to be a solid ball of crystal magnolsis, but all attempts at further study or excavation of the Hadal depths have met with terminal failure. Nominal Constitution Fragment RD 17 0326 Date Stream End Command, relay following file. Confirmed. Error. Date compromised. Command, abort. Confirmed.
Date relay aborted. Command. Power down. Confirmed. Powering down.